Today we're going to find the area of a square. Okay. Well, what, what do I mean when I say find the area of a square? Okay. So this is a square. And this side is 2 inches. And this side is 2 inches. I'm going to divide each side up into inches. So that means this is one inch, and this is an inch. This is one inch, and this is an inch. This is one inch, and this is one inch. And so forth it's over here. Okay? So when I divide that square into inches, it will create four areas. This is one two, three, and four. Okay? So we ha that created four blocks. And that is going to be your area for this square. We're going to figure out how many blocks will be created in each square. Okay? And in order to do, to do that, we're going to use a formula. And this formula that we're going to use today is S squared, which is side squared, or we can use side times side, okay, which means side squared. So let's get started. So let's say I gave you square. This side is 4 inches. This side is 4 inches. So I'm going to divide this side up into 4's. Side is 4. This side is 4. I want to know how many squares will be created. Okay? So I'm going to extend my lines here. And that created one, two, three, four, sixteen squares. So the area of this square is going to be sixteen. Now you can easily do this if the if the sides are small, but what if my side is fifteen or twenty? or even 50. I don't want to take the time to divide my square into square into different parts. Okay? So that's why I'm going to use my formula. Area equals side times side. And I'm going to use side times side because I don't know if if you understand what side squared means. So I'm going to use side times side. So my A is going to equal one side is 4 times my other side is 4, which will give me 4 times 4, which is 16 inches squared. Okay, 16 inches squared. This is the area of this square. Well, Let's say I have a, a square of 9 feet by 9 feet. So instead of me making all these squares inside, or these different parts inside of my square, I'm going to write A equals S times S. So A equals, what is the length of the side? 9. 9 times 9. Well, what is 9 times 9? Nine? 9 times 9 is 81 feet squared. Okay. Let's do another one. Let's say this was um, 
three fourths inches and three fourths inches. So I have A equals side times side. You always write your your formula down first. So A equals three fourths times three fourths. So A equals three times three, which is nine, and four times four, which is sixteen. Um, I don't think that can be reduced, so that's going to be nine sixteenths feet squared. Now, if you don't understand how I got nine sixteenths, please watch the video on multiplying fractions, and that will explain what I just did in more detail. Okay? Now I'd like for you to work too. This side is five sevenths inches, and this side is five seven inches. And over here, let's say this is 0 0.4 inches. This is 0 0.4 inches. If you pa please pause the video and find the, the area of those two squares. Thank you. All right. We want to find the area of the square. Since it's a square, we're going to use the, the formula S times S. So A equals one side is three is five sevenths times the other side is five sevenths. And the reason why the two sides are the same is because this is a square. So now we just need to multiply across. Five times five is twenty-five. Seven times seven is forty-nine. I can't think of a number to reduce this fraction, so it's going to be twenty-five forty-ninths inches squared. That's what you should have ended up with. Okay, over here. I know this is a square because both sides are the same, so I know I can write A equals side times side. So A equals 0 0.4 times 0 0.4. Well, 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 is 1.6 inches squared. Okay, I hope this video helped you. Please go to my website, mathwithmoon.org, for any videos and to leave any comments that you may have. And I will see you next time. Bye.